my journey started in 2007 uh, with a rather sudden uh, re realization of uh, that uh, something was really wrong with me. Uh, I had beginning more, more fatigued, I had uh, peripheral neuropathies, I was losing weight uh, over the late summer of 2007 and suddenly uh, it was all but crashing and my wife got me in to uh, finally be seen by my, cl uh, my doctor who then made the diagnosis basically of a plasma cytoma in my uh, left ileum and on to receive uh, basically five various courses of radiation uh, to uh, recurrent plasma cytoma lesions and then uh, a treatment with revlimid and dexamethasone for a number of years, switched to Velcade and uh, dexamethasone, and then proceeded to autologous transplant in uh, uh, March of 2014. And then after uh, that, uh, I've been on maintenance uh, originally with Velcade and now on uh, Ninlaro. Uh, and I'm extremely happy to report that numbers are wonderful. I'm being a dentist, I, I am actually an oral oncology person, so I've done supportive care. And so my interaction quite often has been around the issues of uh, uh, bad oral complications, side effects, uh, recurrence of disease and whatnot, and as well as working extensively in the, the hemopoietic stem cell transplant uh, part of care. And uh, the, first, the first reaction was actually almost panic. Uh, and uh, in, subsequently, when I talked to my oncologist, uh, she explained to me, she says, but Mark, you've only seen the worst of the worst. You haven't seen the people who have done well and responded and uh, the longer term survivors. So I think my first response was based on what I had personally seen. Um, subsequently, with the reassurance and support of family and a wonderful oncology team, able to get past those uh, to better understand what was ahead and, and actually endure the treatment. I had access to the literature. Uh, I also had uh, care providers who would give me the latest up-to-date research, which at times would can be reassuring, but it asks, you know, almost adds to a level of confusion because then I have to start making decisions about how I want to be treated. Uh, but I think that the, the knowledge helps build hope. And I think that's been a real advantage for me is that coming as a clinician, uh, there was probably a better under layer of knowledge which has allowed me then to understand and proceed through treatment and hopefully you know, build that hope, uh, which, which is one of the main points I'm gonna be trying to raise in my presentation is that we have to build hope and confidence uh, in our care providers uh, if we're going to be able to move ahead on our journey. Discussion with one particular colleague who was a psychiatrist who has also been a transplant patient and had some complications after transplant. We had extensive uh, uh, discussion of catastrophe fantasies uh, which are, yes, easily, easily sunk into if one isn't paying attention. But again, I think the knowledge allowed me to not fall into those deep pits. Uh, I could stay up and I could stay understanding and with that there became confidence that I was going to be okay.